Welcome back to our latest video. Now the markets were overvixed and started going back up. Our Discord group went long at the lows on 5th of August and has taken profit on Thursday. So far we're doing okay, shorting near the top and going long right at the bottom. What is next? Do we see further upside or is this only a relief rally? Make sure you watch till the end to find out. The trade is another exceptional week in algo trading with gains ranging from 1% up to 1.8%. Now strategy continues to deliver and we are on track to generate a realized gain of about 4% up to 8.1% for the month which is way above the benchmark of S&P 500 at roughly about 9% per annum. Now transform your trading with our cutting edge algorithm. Why trade manually when there's a revolutionary system that trades for you while you eat, sleep, have fun, or focus on what truly matters? Boost your trading game with unmatched precision, consistency, and real profits. Join us now and step into the future of trading success. Join our Discord and discover first-hand testimonials from our thriving algorithm trading community. Hear directly from members who have experienced the power and reliability of our strategies, elevating their investment journeys to new heights. Don't miss out on the opportunity to engage with real-life success stories and take your game to the next level. Maximize your profits, minimize your effort with our cutting-edge algorithmic trading platform, delivering consistent, data-driven results automatically. Click on the Patreon link below to join us now. Hop over to the smart dumb money confidence. Now, dumb money has started to turn bullish as the markets climbed over the past two weeks due to the overvixing. Now, meanwhile, smart money has pulled back from extreme bullishness after the markets recovered more than half of the recent drop. Now, many were caught off guard by the July 31st Bank of Japan meeting, which triggered the major decline. However, if you watched my video, you would have been prepared weeks in advance as I highlighted the meeting's critical impact on the market's liquidity. Now, news outlets only started discussing the BOJ's role in the drop after the markets had already fallen. If you rely on news to trade, you would have been too late, likely shorting at the lows and getting caught in this short squeeze. Now with the VIX spiking from 23 to 65 in a single day, this is what happens when everyone scrambles for hedges only when it's too late, rather than securing them when conditions are favorable. Fortunately, we profited by buying puts near the top when VIX was low and selling options at the bottom of the drop, capitalizing on the VIX crash while others were paying excessive premiums for puts. Let's talk about what's on the horizon for the market next week. Now we have a pretty muted early week with Jackson Hole Symposium as the key highlight for Thursday up to Saturday. At the Jackson Hole Fed Chair, Jerome Powell will be scheduled to speak on Friday, the August 23rd. Now his speech will be closely watched for insights into the Fed's monetary policy outlook, particularly in light of recent market developments. So watch out for Friday to be a very volatile day. So hopping into the technical charts, we're on the VIX. So on the VIX, uh, last update on the 4th of July, okay, I mentioned about a pullback incoming for the VIX. But what happened before the pullback came, it actually did a huge spike. Okay, this spike went from 23 all the way to 65. Okay, that's a few hundred percent move up. Okay, about 160%, more than that actually about a 180% move at the peak, okay? That was when I told the guys to start selling options because we want to capitalize on the excessive premiums that people are paying. They are paying because they hatched too late, okay? People were panicking when they saw a 6% dip overnight, okay, on the pre-market. So that was when VIX spiked huge. So once, once the market opened, we started selling options anticipating a VIX crush. Cool enough, on the same day, it came down all the way towards 39, okay? So on the same day itself, we already made close to 50% of our premium, despite, okay, the, the markets did not move that much. Okay, and over the next couple of weeks, 
okay, next couple of days in fact okay roughly about one one and a half week okay we already made 90 percent of our options okay right now what are we anticipating okay the volatility bands of vix have already expanded so right now we're looking at a very huge band here okay this is the range of vix okay why when they expanded this move this expansion actually caused the volatility bands to expand and that means that VIX can move in a bigger swing right now compared to what we saw okay ever since the start of this year so when we talk about bigger swings we are talking about 14 going up to 23 14 go up to 30 40 go up 20 going up to 40 even okay so these are very big swings that can happen over the next two months and that's why i say to be very careful in this summer trade also another important fact is that on the 5th of august when we spiked huge on the vix okay i talked about over vixing okay over vixing is when the vix spiked way more okay than the volatility of the actual market which is the realized volatility and right now we are under vix okay so what we're expecting when you're under vix is you are they're expecting a drop to happen on the indices okay and this drop on the indices could be huge and most likely it is sharp it's a very sharp drop on the indices not on the vix okay so when you're under vix when the move happens the vix will spike once again and you get a short and sharp drop on the indices okay this is what we're expecting when you see an under vix situation okay the only way it doesn't happen for under vix situation where you don't get a drop is when the markets climb on a very slow and small steps upwards okay and that pushes the realized volatility back down below the current vix which is at 14. Okay, so realized fall is at about 20.8 currently and our vix is only at 14.8 which means the market is moving in bigger swings as compared to what people are expecting it to okay so the VIX which is the implied volatility 30 days out is at 14.8 but the actual volatility is 20.8 so when the big swings happen not on the upside but on the downside what happens is people start hedging again okay and this pushes the VIX up which when people buy by puts the VIX go up the indices go down why because market makers start hedging against those puts that they sell or customers buy and that pushes the indices down in a very sharp move okay so this is why the under VIXing situation currently is a precursor to another move back down all right and most likely it takes out the previous low this is what we're expecting but in the event that you see the indices move more steps up the realized vol comes down from 20.8 probably to 13.0 and then you see the vix still hovering at 14 or 15 this is when you 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 know that the under vixing situation has gone by okay as it turns out to be a nothing burger and then we'll see the indices start moving slower and slower but towards the upside so hopping up to the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So the SPY, okay, we saw this move upwards after the after the overvixing incident on 5th of August where we went long. Okay, we were right about it and we started moving back up. Okay, back to the previous resistance here at 554. Okay, TSI is still bullish. So the momentum as of now is still bullish. Okay, MACD is still bullish. But you can see the volume delta, okay, it is actually in the negative zone, it's in the bearish zone. Okay, as of now, the momentum is bullish, there are buying volume here, okay, but the overall okay um volume is actually still negative. Okay, so unless you see the white line cross up and the momentum is green. Then we have a bullish trend as of now it is still a bearish trend and this is still regarded as a relief rally similarly for this okay the trend oscillator you can see that the lines are below the mid range so that means that the trend is still bearish but the momentum right now is bullish 
okay and that is regarded as a relief rally okay of course we have another resistance here at the 557.59 okay and if the precursor turns out the under fixing turns out to be accurate we see another move down to take out the lows here at 510 so hopping up to the nasdaq 100 triple q etf so the triple q actually made a larger drop as compared to the spy okay we got about a 16 percent drop okay 15.94 to be exact so as of now okay the triple q also did make a relief rally after the lows on 5th of august where we had the huge big spike okay momentum though is bullish okay we do see some bullish momentum here okay overbought size as well bullish momentum but one thing to note on the triple q okay on all the indicators the trend is still bearish you can see in the pivot cycle we're below the dotted line that means we're in a bearish trend but we are having a bullish momentum which is regarded as a pullback or a relief rally okay a test on this dotted line rejection here that will mean the continuation of the next trend the next move which is a new low here but probably a higher low here and that is a bullish move on the pivot cycle so this will be a bullish divergence okay but if we make a lower low here and a lower low here then nothing happens that means that we are still on a bearish trend and there is no bullish divergence okay on the macd bullish okay nothing much to say here but you can see from the volume delta we had a drop here the white line okay which is the measuring the overall trend is bullish hence we move back up another drop here white line still bullish okay hence we made another move up over here the white line cross bearish and that was when we had our bearish trend so right now we have our green bars here okay it's bullish momentum but white line is still bearish so that means when it gets rejected okay we have a continuation of our move downwards despite we already have our green bars okay same thing for trend oscillator here still bearish still below okay it only cross negative around here and that's why we got our bearish trend okay rsi is overbought but we have seen multiple times overbought still moves up or oversold still continues downward so this is used more as a confluence especially since we're overbought at the supply zone okay so now we're looking at this this gap okay gap fill here which is around 475 to 480 okay once this gap fills this will be a good um entry for short position with stop losses above over here 489 up to 493 will be the next range of the next gap fill which is a top gap okay if the top or the second top the second higher gap doesn't fill at all this is a very bearish move okay and that means the bulls have no strength to actually cover the upper gaps and that means that the weekly and the monthly chart will continue to play out the bearish move yes as i shared to my guys on discord the monthly has a topping signal okay it's not confirmed unlike the weekly chart the weekly chart has a evening star has already been confirmed two weeks three weeks ago okay when we broke the lows here when we broke the lows we had a confirmation of the weekly star uh, evening star okay despite yes we had a very huge gap down and pump okay as of now the evening star is still in play so this is still to be regarded as a relief rally okay the evening star will be invalidated when we break the highs here i want to thank you guys for tuning in to the end of this video now your support truly means the world to us if you found the information in this video valuable and want to help us grow you can help take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel it is a small gesture that makes a big difference in helping us reach more people and create even better content you can also join our patreon page okay for those who are active traders or investors you know just how crucial it is to stay updated in real time especially in these volatile markets now by becoming a member of our patreon community you enjoy exclusive benefits including access to our private discord now this community provides daily live market updates which can be a game changer during fast moving market conditions 
plus we've got a new addition which is the algorithm trading that reaps profits for us automatically you can join our patreon for as little as 20 dollars per month and the benefits are invaluable as always trade safe invest wise and i'll see you guys in next one